Okay, national security, what exactly is the argument? And if, if, if this is just an excuse to reconnect with the base ahead of the midterm elections, can we expect any more kind of hip shooting like this one? I think you can, and I think that every source that I've spoken with in the past week has suggested to me that President Trump and this administration, Francine, are going to continue to use the national security argument as a way to, as their, as their secret weapon that they can play during the trade war, especially with China. Look, we've seen it before. I, I predict we'll see it again. And I think that it really is something that allows President Trump to get around Congress, quite frankly. Look, I've been talking to sources close to ZTE's Washington operation all week, uh, as well as some of their allies up on Capitol Hill. And they feel uh, that this is something that it, we've seen it with Qualcomm, and I think we're going to see it again. But the interesting part now is that there's a divide amongst Republicans about whether or not the president ought to be able to do this. Yesterday, for example, on the Senate floor, Senator Marco Rubio, a Republican from Florida, railing against the president's uh, proposal to lift trade restrictions against ZTE. That comes following a bipartisan amendment that advanced out of the Senate Banking Committee earlier this week on a Republican control committee on a 23 to 2 vote. So there's very much a divide amongst Republicans about whether or not the president ought to be doing this. But Kevin, I understand steel and aluminium are two materials, for example, used in military equipment, right? What are the chances of this actually going through for autos? Well, I, I, I think that it, it, it's very likely, simply because the president doesn't need congressional approval in order to continue this. Now, it's a bit different when the pressure mounts from the auto sector or from folks who are going to be pressing him to, to, uh, against this. But if you go to a state like Michigan, for example, uh, a state heavily impacted by U.S. domestic uh, auto uh, workers and the, and the auto force, that's a state that President Trump carried in the 2016 cycle and a, a very important state to his political coalition. So there doesn't really seem to be much impetus for him to change his mind.